Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Spotlight 2K7 back with another Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video and today is the big day. Today we debut our newest tow truck that we're going to be adding to our fleet today guys so if you guys are new to the series we do operate a tow company here in Grand Theft Auto 5 it's called Ace Towing and um, what we're going to be doing today is purchasing our newest truck it's going to be a Peterbilt 388 and um, yeah I'm, I'm so excited to show it off to you guys so as you can see um, we're at the Peterbilt dealership here in Blaine County we just signed the papers and the truck is officially ours guys so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and head over so you guys can see it I'm trying to hide it because I don't want you guys to see it yet but you guys could take a look at the dealership though in the meantime and see all the cool Peterbilt trucks that are out right now but um obviously in real life you wouldn't buy like a tow truck at the actual dealership you know it's manufactured by a third-party company most of the time and they take the truck and they customize the frame and add on all the towing equipment and stuff like that but just for the simplicity of the video we're just using a one shop dealership that does it all so anyway guys without further ado here it is guys are you guys ready <laughs> here it is our brand new heavy duty record oh these guys are working on these truck okay you guys ready here we go new record in three two one there it is guys okay it's kind of far that though is closer but there it is it is built on a peter built 388 frame oh uh, we got the custom license plate ace 2k7 Oh, take a look at this, guys. So this is our brand new heavy-duty truck. And this thing has been put together by Bag. Shout out to Bag. I know a lot of you guys know him on GTA5Mods.com. Makes a lot of cool vehicles. And he did this as a request. And I am very thankful. So huge shout out to Bag for putting this together. I'll definitely link his um, download page if you want to check out some of his other mods. And I also got to give a shout out to Billy J for the skin, for texturing this thing up, getting it this beautiful paint job. And let's take it outside so we can get a better look at it, guys. But I am so excited. We're going to be able to do so much more um, jobs and recoveries with this thing. And I don't know. I just hope you guys are ex as excited as I am for this thing. Like It's, it's so excited. So uh, we got it turned on. And let's back it up. Alright, I think we have enough space to spin it around over here. I'm so excited though for this thing. Alright, so we'll get it outside, we'll turn on all the lights, we'll check it out and see how it is. But um, yeah, we got it guys. And I've been teasing you guys about this for the longest. Like, if you guys have been watching our videos, especially our tow videos, I have been on mentioning the heavy duty record a couple times, but this is the first time that we're actually bringing it out on the road. And it's now our truck, guys. So let's go ahead and do a quick, uh, you know, just quick walk around the truck. I'm gonna turn on all the lights. So first, let's turn on our headlights and our runner lights. Oh, take a look at that. That lights up really nicely. I would love to see this at night, too. That looks really nice right there. All right, so now let's turn on our uh, emergency lighting here, our amber lights. And take a look at that, guys. Okay. Oh, we can also control the boom. Look at that. Very, very nice cool stuff here guys hopefully you guys do enjoy all right so I don't, I don't even know what to do first i'm just like so excited right now let's um let's let's hop out and let's take another look at the truck man let's get a good look at it i'm gonna show you guys how the tow arm works and the outriggers and all that stuff so make sure you guys stay tuned but if you are enjoying the video so far please do me a favor Go ahead and smash that like button, guys. Let's get some likes on this video. And if you guys do enjoy this, I'll definitely come back and do some more heavy-duty towing this week. And, um, man, I'm just excited. So when you need help, call us. Don't actually call that number. That's not our phone number. <laughs> but, yeah, the shout-outs to Billy J on the skin again. Very, very good stuff here. So excited. Okay, so let's mess around with the truck a bit here. 
So I'm just going to use the menu so we don't have to get inside to do this. Let's go to doors. And we're going to open up this. That does the, um, I don't really know what you would properly call that. But that, oh, the underreach. So that lets out the underreach. And then we could also open up some of these as well. So that's an extra door to our sleeper, which is pretty cool. Um, what else we could do? This one is going to be on this side, I think, is it? Oh, this is that rear stabilizers back here. So if we're pulling something out, we could put these down to kind of help give us some um, better traction and stability as we try to like winch something like up a hill or, you know, out of a ditch or something like that. So that's really cool. Um, the hood, we'll take a look at that in a moment. And then these are just the doors. I guess we'll open those up as well. All right, guys, so take a look at the truck and its glory. Oh, I cannot wait to try this out. Now, there is a truck here. This is like one of the shop um, stock trucks that just like, you know, deliver parts and stuff like that. So they said I could try out the truck on their tr on their um, stock truck. So we're going to try this thing out and just, you know, make sure that it works properly and everything like that. Take a look at the Ace Towing and Recovery. Let's take a look at the engine. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wait, the engine says P379. I don't I don't really know which body style it is. I'm not that good with trucks, but I remember when I saw something online about this mod, it said 388, so I was just going with 388, but maybe some of you guys that are like really good with trucks could let me know. All right, so let's hop inside and let's put this tow truck to the test, guys. We're gonna try to tow that semi truck and trailer over there. So let's close everything we don't need. We could leave the underreach down. All right. All right, so let's go and try to lift up this semi truck here. Now it's kind of funny because I actually do, I kind of started watching like a couple of YouTubers. Um, that are like tow truck companies and they have like rotators and wreckers or cranes whatever you want to call them and um yeah i kind of just got hooked on this and i hit up bagged one day and i was like yo do you think you could make a heavy duty wrecker for the game because <laughs> there was one before but it was like a european brand we have used it before but um we never really had like an american brand so it was kind of cool to have an american brand all right so let's go ahead and try to get this thing hooked up now um, basically, the point I was saying is it's kind of funny because in the game, we could hook this up in two seconds, but in real life, it could take like 30 minutes to like an hour, depending on the setup. So uh, it's it's pretty cool. Like one one channel I watch in particular, um, shout outs to Plaza Towing, um, Trent Jr. at Plaza Towing. I'll link their uh, channel in the video description if you guys want to check them out, but they have a lot of cool trucks and equipment and they make a lot of cool videos so even though this only takes us like two seconds in the uh in the game we're gonna try to you know role play it out so we'll be getting our forks um getting our airlines connected we gotta damn we'd actually make sure we have to release the rear differential as well <laughs> and again i'm not like a professional or anything i just learned all of this stuff from watching like plaza towing and a couple other towing companies as well so uh we're just gonna role play that we did all of that and yeah we're now ready to get this thing attached so i'm gonna show you guys how this works all right, so we're going to back up. Now, the actual um, underreach doesn't have a collision on it. So we're able to, like, you know, put it on the trucks, but it doesn't actually have a collision. So it doesn't really do anything. But you guys see that hook that was kind of hidden before, but now you can see it's out. That's what we're going to use to actually lift the truck up. Just because the way GTA 5 is, it's just impossible to really put an underreach under and make it work 100%. So we just use the default GTA 5 tow hook. So um, I know that's not like 100% realistic, but it gets the job done. Damn, we could really lift this thing up high too. We're not going to lift this so high off the ground. All right, so let's go ahead and try to tow this thing, guys. Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? Is it frozen? The trailer may be frozen. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. We just need to give it a little bit more gas. Okay, we're moving. 
There it is, guys. Take a look at that. We have all of our lights on. Now we do. <laughs> Alright, so let's do a little bit of a test drive around the Sandy Shores and, you know, just to make sure we get a fill for the truck. Let's try to make this right turn. Now we're going to have to remember to swing this thing wide on certain turns here. Very, very cool, guys. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this truck. I'm so excited to have it in game and I have so many ideas of things I want to do with this truck as well. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And Oh, we're like bouncing a little bit there. Hold up. I'm going to have to lower it down a little bit. Okay, the horn works. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Okay, we need to. We need a little bit of practice. We, we, <laughs> we kind of screwed this up a little bit here. Okay, we kind of messed up on that uh, turn right there. But this is what practice is for. This is what practice is for, guys. So it's all good. It's better we get used to the truck now before we're on like an actual job and we're messing up. So it's all good. Just a little bit of first person here. Beautiful interior. Oh, the mirrors actually work. That's nice. And oh, all of the mirrors work. Look at that. Oh, I just blew a stop sign. My bad. That is nice. In GTA 5, not all of the mirrors always work, so that's pretty nice to see. Come on, dodge. Oh, come on, buddy. See, even though like we can't see like the trailer and stuff like that, because just the way GTA 5 is, but it's still cool that the mirrors we can actually see behind us. Come on, buddy. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's get this truck back to the shop, and then let's take this new record to our tow garage so we could just, you know, make sure it fits and everything like that we didn't measure so it should be able to fit without a problem but we just want to make sure everything is good all right guys so i think we're getting the hang of this thing uh, i just got to get used to the way it turns with the uh trailer and the semi truck but i think we got it for the most part Kind of swing this one a little wide here. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I think we're getting a hang of it, guys. So let's go ahead and drop this truck off and let's head to our garage now. So we'll try to put it exactly where we got it from. I don't know how well we'll be able to do that here, but we'll try. Alright, this is going to be kind of tricky. I'm not going to be able to put it as close as it was, but you know what? It's not really completely blocking the road, so I think it'll be okay right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and lower this thing down. We'll release from it. We'll pull forward. And like I said, it's kind of funny how like easy it is in the game versus like real life. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put that back up. We'll put that down a little bit. We'll turn off our emergency lights and we are good to go guys. So let's head towards our shop now. So it's going to be a little bit of a long drive. Most of it is going to be highway though, so it should be too bad. Yeah, mostly highway driving. Okay. About 4.39 miles. So we're going to leave the uh, dealership and we'll head to our shop. I 
that truck is really lifted. I've been meaning to do a lifted truck episode, but um, I just haven't had the time. I'm going to try to hopefully do it this weekend, though. I guess, yeah, I think, I, I think we'll be able to. Oh, <laughs> accidentally put that up. Everybody's just excited to see this truck, it looks like. Everybody's just stopping and staring. All right, let's see how this thing does on the highways. As I'm using my controller, I'm like accidentally lifting up the uh, underreach there, so don't mind that. Oh, whoa, whoa, that was kind of close. Uh-oh. Got in the left lane, <laughs> right in front of a cop. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's just truck it on back to the city, and I'll—I guess I'll see you guys once we get to the shop. Alright guys, so we are finally arriving at the shop and we'll go ahead and park up our new truck and I'll, I'll quickly go over some of the other vehicles we have at our garage as well. So this is pretty much our towing and transportation company, kind of two in one. Alright, so there it is right over there. Let's go ahead and make our way inside. <laughs> oh my god, anybody remember this guy? Somehow he's saved here for some reason. Every time we restart our game, he's still there. I gotta go ahead and take that out of our database. <laughs> so it doesn't load with my tow truck garage. That's so funny. Alright, um, this is gonna be a little bit tricky trying to get it up here, but let's try. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we barely made it. I had to like just swing this thing in here. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the inside of our shop. We have a couple trucks getting worked on. We got a car over there getting fixed up. Um, but yeah, it fits. Let's see if it fits on the outside. Barely, but it fits. <laughs> Alrighty. And home sweet home. So this is going to be our location where we keep most of our vehicles. And let's go ahead and park up this new bad boy. Damn, our, our lot is starting to get a little packed here. We're going to need to expand to a new location soon. Alright, so I'll just park it up right out here for now. I don't mean to keep putting up the arm there. It kind of just keeps happening. We kind of have to move some of this other stuff out the way as well, but it should be okay for now. So we'll go ahead and just lock it in so it doesn't fall. Alright, and there we go guys. So we got the new truck to the shop. Hopefully you guys do like it again. If you guys have been enjoying this episode, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let me fix this truck actually. It looks like it has a flat tire, but it's just kind of messed up. I gotta freeze all of the vehicles here because this is like an add-on map and if you don't freeze them they just kind of like fall through. There we go. Alright, so this is our new Peterbilt 337. We used this about two weeks ago. Uh, actually no, we purchased it about two weeks ago. We haven't really used it on a tow yet. Actually no, we did use it that same the same day we got it we had to use it on a tow. So that was pretty cool. I uh, got a Kenworth flatbed or rollback, whatever you like to call it. We also have the CXT, International Durastar, Ford F550. This is a 2008 model, which actually matches these two on the right, which are also 2008s. And we also have this one over here, which is going to be a 2013. I have not got a skin put on that one yet, but my goal though is to get all of these trucks to have the same livery, the same skin, so that it really looks like we're running a company. So I'm gonna try to get all of the rest of the skins to kind of look like this. Hopefully Billy Jake will hook us up with some more. 
I know he did make one for this yet, but I didn't get it yet. So as soon as he gives us the skin for this, I'll um, add it in. And then hopefully, if we're not asking for too much, we'll be able to get this done as well. I think we'll have a, a nice fleet. We'll have the 13 F550s, the 2008 F550s. We'll have the Peter Boat Wrecker, and it will be good to go. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know what's your favorite truck uh, that we currently have at our tow company. Mine is definitely the uh, heavy-duty Wrecker that we now have, and I hope you guys did enjoy the episode again if you did enjoy go ahead and hit that like button leave some comments down below <laughs> oh my god i gotta fix that too don't mind that but um yeah it was a good day definitely was a good day so yeah, guys thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed have a great monday and i will see you guys in the next one peace